Lynn here at Full Purpose and Heart, and we have just finished 24 weeks of our kindergarten year here in our homeschool. So I wanna give you an update of a couple of things that we've done and are doing and how things are going. So let's go ahead and get started. I almost can't even believe it has been 24 weeks. We are in our 25th week, which gives us about just shy of 10 weeks left of school. So it's just kind of barreling through. It is the beginning of February, and I have to say, usually February, March is the hardest time for me during school years. And so far, it hasn't hit yet. So I do teach a preschool around with my neighborhood kids. And I just remember when I taught public school when I was teaching my high school classes, pretty much the end of January through the end of March was just rough teaching wise because there's no days off and the kids just are hunkered down because it's winter time. And I haven't had that feeling yet here in my homeschool journey. So that's a huge positive and super fun. Um, okay, so I want to just briefly chat a little bit with you a couple of things that are going on. I'm not going to really touch a lot on our um, curriculum. We've been using Horizons. I've been talking a ton about it in all of my update videos, so go back and check those. But I'm still very thrilled and pleased with how things are going, and I am kind of tossing around what we're going to be doing for first grade, and Horizons has made the list of potential curriculums for next year. So that says a lot about how pleased I am with it. Even though it's been kind of a rocky road with the um, English portion, I have loved math, and so um, anyway, so that's where we are with that. I am still using this clipboard system. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I started with a um, work box system. The work boxes just were not working for our school day anymore. We've transferred to this and it is still working really well. Um, my son just knows that this is the work he needs to complete for every, any given day. Something that I have added to his clipboard is um, a reading page. We haven't been very good with our reading during the year and I really want to try and encourage more reading. We do do some reading, we do read, um, but it's just not been enough. And although he reads in bed before he goes like to bed, he reads in his bed, and we read as a family um, various books, kind of read alouds, I just want him to do some more independent reading. So I will be requiring him to take out a book and read one of those short um, readers every day, just the easy readers you can get at your local library. Um, and then each book that he finishes, he will fill in one of these heart cookies. When he finishes the whole page, then he will earn a prize at the end of the month. So he is required to fill in one cookie every day for each book that he reads. If he doesn't complete the book, but it's been at least 15 minutes, he can also um, fill in the heart. So hopefully it will encourage kind of some more independent reading on his part. He is a decent reader, a very early reader, obviously, but he can read the level twos um, for those little easy readers. So I really wanna encourage him to do that some more. So I've added that into our program. Okay, um, something that we did in the last two weeks that was a big success, I'll just kind of show you. We did a lap book for Katie in the Big Snow. We finally had our first snow in our area just during the month of January. So we pulled out our Katie in the Big Snow with the uh, five in a row curriculum. And I made this little lap book and I did it with my preschool students as well. So if you have a preschooler and you're looking for something to do, but um, we talked about a compass and what a compass was. We also used a compass a lot like in the classroom. So we practiced that. We talked about our community helpers and here in this pocket, there's just some um, printouts of various community helpers because Katie has to travel through the neighborhood and plow out the streets to help the community so the city can keep running. Um, it, we just talked about, this is again along with the compass as well as the community helpers. We just used the map. Here's some um, writing practice. Um, and then we talked about measuring. These are just some things that they could measure. And we got out rulers. And then um, we went out and we actually had rulers and we measured the, the snow. We didn't get a ton of snow, which I know some areas of the United States did. Uh, but we just had some pockets of my backyard were like up to 11 inches of snow. Other pockets were like two and three inches of snow. So it was really perfect because the kids just loved going around, all of my preschoolers as well as my kindergartner, and they just measured the backyard for like a half hour. They loved it. Um, and then we came in and we measured how much five feet of snow was. This is a piece of yarn that is five feet, um, and we kind of 
Anyway, talked about Katie and the Big Snow. So that's a really great book. It's super fun in the winter and it covers tons of great social studies and math units um, or just kind of topics of discussion so you can practice those with your kids. So this was really successful that we did. Um, we are also still doing my little thinkers curriculum. This is the actual lesson. That was the student book. Um, I did just post a review of this curriculum, so make sure you check that video if you're curious about this. Um, so anyway, we've kind of been plowing along. I love, love this curriculum. It's worked out really great for what I want to cover during social studies this um, year. So that's been really fun. I think that that kind of covers it. Um, we're just having a really good year. My curriculum is working out really well. Um, make sure you check out my curriculum video. You can kind of see. I will touch on briefly. We are still doing our daily notebook, the um, interactive notebook, which I started at the beginning of the year. Right now, my son is learning bossy R's, and I found on Teachers Pay Teachers someone who created interactive notebooks for the bossy R. So um, I kind of picked it back up again and we've been practicing our bossy R's with her little set of curriculum that she made. So I'll put that in the description box below along with the links to all of my other curriculum that I have selected so that if you wanna check those things out, then you can. Um, but that has kind of revived our interactive notebook and we've been kind of trudging along, practicing those bossy R's a little bit more with the interactive notebook. So that's been successful too. Anyway, so 24 weeks down, a, about 10 weeks to go. I think we have 36 weeks um, in our school, so maybe 11 weeks to go. So anyway, things are really awesome and super fun, and I am loving, loving homeschooling. I don't know where we're going to be next year for first grade. I'm pretty sure we're going to homeschool first grade, but in subsequent years, you know, we'll kind of take it as we go along. But for me, it's been a really joyful journey. And I, I have to do give props out to my YouTube homeschooling mamas and that community that is there because they are such an encouragement and really great ideas. And these like weekly update videos that other mamas are doing help me kind of not only get ideas of things that I can do in my classroom, but also just kind of feel like I can you know, saddle up next to all these other moms as we trudge through this homeschooling journey. So anyway, I never thought I would be a homeschooling mom. It's kind of crazy. I still feel like I'm a bit of a closet homeschooler because I don't want to get out there and tell the world just yet. But um, I guess technically I am because I'm on YouTube. But anyway, so hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, you may want to consider doing so so that you can follow along in what we do for homeschool and in life and motherhood and just all of those topics that go along with uh, this channel that I've built here. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in another video.